Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I'm really gonna try something new whilst I'm filming in the office. Couple of things I had to change. One, my light, my main light there, the newer SL60, it was making me kind of blown out. That's strictly because of the fact that I can only move it so far away from me and still have it not blocked by the camera or anything else. And then the reason why I took the softbox down is because it was smacking into the ceiling fan and that isn't gonna work. So I had to basically move it right behind the camera and right above the Ninja. So it was really blowing me out. I wasn't really paying attention to it. Thanks Yankee Cowboy for letting me know. So what I did was I went back into the closet and I found that piece of, of diffusion fabric that goes on the inside of one of my soft boxes. And I just took it, wrapped it around the light and stuck a rubber band over it to hold it in place. And I think that is much better now. Now that I'm looking, I don't look as blown out. So this is the test. I just wanted to see what it looked like. The other thing that I'm doing is that I have decided to try a two camera setup. So whilst I have the A6600 in the center rig in front of me, over here I have the ZV-1 on a monopod just so it can kind of get a different angle. It's taken me a while to figure out where to put it in here that, that makes it all work. And I wanna see if I can sync the two up so that the audio and everything lines up. It's all something new to me. And I was watching a couple videos last night where people were showing you how to do it in Premiere and on a couple other programs, but nobody showed how to do it. I mean, at least the video that I watched, the main one, it didn't show how to do it in Final Cut. I'm gonna play with that tonight. Uh, you know, like I keep saying, I'm gonna do something a little bit new every time, so that's that. You know, the, the video that I just posted is all about going outside with the run and gun kit that I made for the other A6600. And, uh, you know, I've convinced myself over this week since I got all the pieces together that it, it works really well and it's perfect for if I want to just take one camera with me I can bring the handles and and put those on with no problem and you don't even really need tools although having like a small little allen wrench like the one that comes with it or the allen wrench tool that small rig has will be perfect so I'm probably going to get another one of those tools just so that I have one here in the studio and I can put one in my bag and take it with me now with the ZV-1 setup how I've got this going so that I don't have all the stuff in here because what was happening was that the ZV-1 was picking up all of the window and because it's not quite dark out yet, you can see the, the, you know, the blinds through the sheer black fabric and it wasn't working. And then I took the ZV-1 and I moved it onto this side, but then you could just see all the, the blue, part of the blue wall plus the lamp and everything. So I have rearranged this probably about 20 times to finally get it to where I wanted it to be. And I also realized I had to take off the Zome lens because it was just too wide of a shot. And it was kind of really screwing things up. So I don't know, this is where we are now. So I can kind of almost sort of, since you're used to having me look this way, I can kind of, I don't know, break the fourth wall by looking in here and be like, seriously, did that idiot just say that? Things like that. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Bear with me. That's what this whole thing is all about. The whole channel is me trying to figure out how to be a decent creator, you know, when I'm miserable. And I am miserable. I have been out of whack for the past couple of weeks and I hadn't been able to get to the chiropractor. I finally went, I think it was Thursday. You know, I always say she released the demon when she finally is able to, to realign me and get me back in there. But at that point, the muscles have already been completely pulling with it out of whack. So it usually takes a couple of days for it to loosen back up and, and make me not as miserable because yesterday and today I was miserable. I mean, I've been waking up with a headache. I haven't been sleeping that well, I just have a headache all the time. And to the point where this morning when I got up, the first thing I did was take ibuprofen before I even had coffee or my breakfast. And that seemed to help take the edge off. So anyways, wham, life of a disabled veteran. Really, that's all I wanted to do was to test these couple of things out. So I'm hoping that putting that little bit of extra diffusion on the light there. And also, I mean, I kind of feel like I look almost a little red. I can't tell. It's, it's kind of tough because I have the focus stuff all red. My eyes are all demony, which I wish they looked like this all the time. That diffusion should help. I changed the, the, the temperature from cold to warm or cool to warm just to see if I could get rid of those, those blowout spots. And I think it's looking pretty good. 
let me know if you think it looks good because on the monitor there it looks good and on the ZV-1 monitor I look decent too. Again, I just wanted to, to play around with the lighting and I wanted to play around with the two camera setup and see how that looks and to see if I am even remotely capable of syncing the two footages and switching back and forth without sitting here for five hours trying to edit because I don't want to do that. It's fairly early right now. It's only 5.30. My wife just got home from work. I usually leave her alone for at least an hour so she can unwind and she doesn't have any sound, meaning me, <laughs> with the TVs on and everything. So I'm going to take this footage off and I'm going to play around with it for a little bit and see what's going on. Let me know what you think of the setups. Does it look all right coming from the two cams? Is the audio synced all right? Do you not give a shit? I'd love to hear from you. Comments down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.